Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Let's talk about that name. In John 14, 12 to 14, we read, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Let's talk about the name Jesus. The name of God the Son, the second person of the triune God. We hear the name first when the angel visited the Jewish virgin named Mary and told her that she would have a child and she should call him Jesus. And listen to what came after that. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Wow, that is quite a statement about this baby who will be given the name Jesus. Well, later in Matthew 1, Joseph, the, f the husband of Mary, got a confirmation about this unusual pregnancy. And in that dream, he was told to call the baby Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. <laughs> Let's jump over to Philippians 2, where we read the following. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven, of those on earth, and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Do you see something emerging? We started off with the name Jesus and a statement of power that the bearer of the name will be very great and he will be a king forever. There seems to be a connection with the name and the bearer of the name. Then not long after we read where the name will be given to someone who will save people from their sins. Then further on, we read that this name is more important, more powerful than any other name. The name is so powerful that when the name is called, created beings will voluntarily or involuntarily bow and admit, agree, say gladly that the person with the name is number one. There is one more thing I want us to consider before we go back to the text. I'm building a case here. Stay with me. In John 17, we see Jesus praying a long prayer. In his prayer to his father, he said, Protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. Don't rush past this. Because this is a most significant point. The bearer of the name is asking the one who gave him the name, the name that belonged to the giver of the name. He's asking him to protect his followers, that would include you and me, by the power of this name. The name that was given to him by the person who had the name. The name Jesus belongs to God the Father, and he gave the name to the Son, and now the Son is asking the Father to protect his followers by the power of the name. Do you see what's going on here? That the name is not just a name, but it carries with it the power in the name, and all of this power came from the giver of the name who had the name. Do you get it? My goodness, the name Jesus carries protecting power against any force or being that comes up against the followers of Jesus. Oh, but we also learn that the name Jesus is universal in power, that it carries so much weight that there is no other name or person or created being in all of creation that is more powerful than the name and the bearer of the name and so all this power and superiority is coming together so that every created being has to acknowledge that the bearer of this powerful name 
and the name are one and the same, powerful. Just stop and take all of that in. Jesus, the name Jesus, the powerful name Jesus, the person of Jesus is great. He forgives sins. He will reign forever. He is the son of the Most High, the same Most High that gave him this huge and powerful and gigantic name before he was born. So now we can understand the text. Jesus is saying to his followers that when you pray to the Most High, the one who gave me this name, the one who has given me and my name all power and authority, when you pray in my name, things will happen, my friend. I will do whatever you ask. That is more than a guarantee. That is solid, unchangeable, incontestable, irrefutable, undeniable truth. But... It starts at the place where you have to understand the story around the name. The Most High gave his son that name with all the power and authority and, and uh, that is in a name. A name that is the most powerful name in all creation. And a name and its bearer who will reign forever. So you might ask, what's in a name? <laughs> in this case, all of the universe Heaven, earth, under the earth, everything is wrapped up in the name and the bearer of the name. The bearer of the name means power. The name itself means power, universal power, divine power, supreme power, eternal power. My friend, the next time you pray, bring all of that into your understanding and pray in the name of Jesus.